And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast, sponsored by Generator Supercenter of Amarillo. Hi, Kevin Selly in the Weather Center. Boy, the hot stuff is just going to continue here, unfortunately, for the next couple of days. We're going to forecast 104. Be nice to have a cooling breeze. That won't be the case. It's a hot wind south southwest, which will gust over 20 miles per hour at times. Sorry about that. Records may be falling. In fact, we set a record for Monday. The old one was 102. So back in 2001, hit 103 for the high. Ooh, boy, Tuesday 104 is the old record. That one will be in jeopardy. Wednesday 105 could be in jeopardy as well. By the end of the week, Thursday's record is 105 and Friday's record is 106. I think it looks like that the ridge will start to, the ridge is causing this heat, will start to weaken a little bit by the end of the week, but still some of these records could fall. Low temperatures, let's spend a second on this. Mid 70s is not really chilling or cooling off at night, especially if you don't have air conditioning or know somebody who doesn't you really need a fan going or something because you need the temperature to go down. You need to give your chance, uh, your body a chance to recover from the heat stress of the day. So anybody that you know might need a fan, check on the elderly, things like that. It's tough to recover when the temperatures don't fall at night. So mid 70s is pretty high. So here's the trend again, triple digits for the next couple of days by the weekend. We're back in the upper 90s, which is still hot. Heat advisories probably will be expanded for the day coming up on uh, Tuesday. Here's the upper level, upper level wind pattern. See how the arrows are kind of going in a circle around a center? Well, that's the center of the high pressure ridge, and that is sitting right over the top of us. So that's a big, thick, heavy atmosphere. It's sinking air. Compression is a warming function. That's one of the reasons it is so, so hot. So let's do triple digits for a couple of days here. Thursday and Friday, some of the models suggesting a weak little disturbance that could give us a 10% chance of some isolated afternoon showers or thunder showers. We'll see if we need to add that at this point, but still triple digits. And then, as I mentioned, we back down a little bit for the weekend. Stay cool.